You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudriance for Black and White Sports. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. And of course, to all the new and old subscribers, we appreciate it. Let's talk about one Sir Charles Barkley. Legendary NBA player, my favorite NBA player of all time. Larry Bird would be number two. And, uh, of course, uh, Charles Barkley is not one to uh, hold his feelings back. I don't always agree with what Charles has got to say, but a lot of times I do. And in this one particular case, I think I agree with Sir Charles. And Charles was on, of course, he's on NBA on TNT. And Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving have basically no-showed the playoffs, right? At least the last couple of games. Uh, they're just not showing up. And as we know, Kevin Durant jumped ship, right, from the Golden State Warriors, where he won some titles. Should be noted that uh, Clay Thompson and Draymond Green and Steph Curry are on those teams. And uh, those were the teams that he got. He got his... uh his championships with, right? Well, of course, he's decided he wanted this other super team in Brooklyn. And so far, it's not it's not working out real well. And of course, Charles, he's not one to hold his feelings back. I mean, he's kind of Chuck can have sort of a a Von Drago effect, you know. You will lose. If he dies, he dies. I mean, he's just gonna not this is the clean version of basically saying, look, Kevin Durant, not really a real champion, sort of dick rode his way to a title or titles, and uh, he's sort of proving it right now. He's proving it right now where the metal meets the pedal or the pedal meets the metal, whatever the saying is, who gives a shit. This is out kick. Let's get to this right now. According to NBA Hall of Famer Charles Barkley, Brooklyn Nets forward Kevin Durant likely won't be driving to Barclays Center in Brooklyn tonight when the Nets host Boston for Game 4 of the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. Brooklyn trails Boston 3-0. I can't believe that. And Chuck sees it. Durant shouldn't be in the driver's seat. He's too much in cruise control and not enough in active navigation. He says, quote, Well, you know what? How about we just... Watch a little video of this. Boom. Please don't tell me you're a great, great player and you're averaging 20. Come on now. You, I don't think I ever played in the playoffs and average Oh, here 20. we go. Is Kevin Durant a great, great player? Oh. He is, and he's been stifled by Boston. And I was going to go there. And, and let me Good. tell you something. I don't want a bad mouth to do, but I'm, I, I, see, you guys always talk about that championship stuff. I try to tell y'all, all these bus riders, whoop. They don't mean nothing to me. If you ain't driving the bus, don't walk around and talk about you a champion. If you riding the bus, I don't want to hear it. Come on, Shaq, tell them. All these guys walk around with these championship rings. Hey, y'all bus riders. But let That's me tell you something. Road, Chuck. When you bus, when you the bus driver, and you got all that pressure when you have to play well, are you gonna get the blame? That's a different animal. It's a okay, so he's saying, look, he rode his ass to some championships. Let's. Let's, and didn't drive, by the way. I'm sure Steph Curry and some of those guys probably drove. Barkley was, of course, referring to Durant's rather questionable championship credentials. Sure, he has two titles, but he won those while on the same bus as future Hall of Famers Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and possibly Draymond Green. When he's had to do it alone, or with just one other star along with him, Durant has always veered off course. Through three games, Boston's found a way to stymie Durant, often described as, quote, unguardable. Except in this series, he's guardable, limiting him to just 22 points a game and leaving Barkley to question his greatness. All these guys can play, but please don't tell me you're a great player, a great player, and you're averaging 20 a game. Sir Charles took another Step further insinuated that Durant did not carry his teams on his shoulders, then he can't boast about a championship. 
If you ain't driving the bus, don't walk around talking about you a champion. If you riding the bus, I don't want to hear it. And look, let's be real about this too. We got a situation here where, you know, Chuck never won a title. He understands that. Barkley is fully aware he never won a title. But he's talking about the fact that guys like Shaq, who's on his set, Kobe, Michael, Larry, I mean, those guys, okay, Magic, those guys were actively involved at times of taking over the team, uh, Michael, a lot, and winning championships, willing championships. But Kevin Durant, he was the fourth guy among four great guys, okay? Now, he might have been the third guy on the team or even the second guy on the team. But we know, driving to those championships, Steph Curry's the man. He's still the man. That's why every time Golden State plays, it's the highest-rated games in the NBA. Not LeBron. Not Kevin Durant, by the way. Interesting. Interesting. I still say, sometimes you just need to be likable. Kevin Durant and LeBron's not that likable. I'm just keeping it real. Uh, Chuck's, Chuck's pulling no punches. Remember he called LeBron and that Lakers team that won that championship bubble gangsters. He totally discounts that championship that the Lakers won because they did not win it under normal NBA final circumstances. So Chuck will just discredit it. He did. Poof. It's gone. Far as he's concerned, LeBron in that championship. No, nah, it's not a thing. He's saying right here. Yeah. Durant, you got titles, but you were a passenger in the bus. You know, you're you're not the bus driver, you're a bus rider. Or you dick rode your way all the way to titles. No, well, there we go. It, it just said it out loud. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. I like Chuck. No holds barred. Doesn't give a damn. Doesn't give a damn. He's probably thinking with Brooklyn going into this last game. What could be this last game? You would lose. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.